What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Jess and you're watching Keto Rewind. Thank you for clicking on today's video. I have a great video for you today. Today is a week 116 update of my keto journey. And also, it's the May monthly challenge. Well, I'm announcing the May monthly challenge. So, real quick, I'm not a medical doctor. I'm not a healthcare professional. This video, this channel is based off of my own experience rewinding my health from morbidly obese to a healthy weight. Talk to your own doctor. And the second thing is, if you are new here and you wanna see weight loss inspiration, how I do my keto, and all the things in between, hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications so you don't miss any videos. And if you are not new here, thank you, thank you, thank you for constantly supporting my channel, for your kind words, for doing this with me, and also for cheering me on. So I, I honestly can't do this channel without you guys. So I want you to know how thankful I am for this community. So let's hop into week 116. <laughs> so, all right, we'll do a real quick recap of the past week. So the past week, I nailed it. Hashtag nailed it. <laughs> Did another successful week losing weight, tracking macros, getting workouts in, figuring it out, you know, and just being in a good place. I felt like being consistent over the past couple of weeks where I just show it, I j I've just been showing up every day has really put me in a real good place right now mentally physically everything you know and it's just it feels so good to like be working it again <laughs> so um i was down to 205 but today i'm back to 206 with a net zero weight loss for the week and the main thing is my husband and i went car shopping last night my husband traded in his 12 year old car and got a new one but you know how long that takes the car buying process happens and we were there forever and it was nearly 7:45 when we walked out of the dealership so we went and pretty much our options were limited and we ended up having mexican for dinner last night so although i really did rein it in i'm sure the couple of tortilla chips didn't help with sodium and <laughs> Um, I lost the the one pound that I had lost came back so anyways I'm not a big I'm not upset um, it was life it was awesome and it felt good to celebrate too um, so anyways I am at a zero for the week for loss so I'm still 206 pounds but you know what no biggie and also that kind of transits transitions me into the new goals for the month um, and that I'll talk about that in a few. And also I want to mention, um, for those of you that have followed my journey for a while, you know I have a genetic heart defect. I have the LMNA gene, which causes cardiomyopathy, bunch of other things, and also uh, I have a right side aortic arch, which means I'm basically my aorta is backwards. <laughs> So I've got the Friday afternoon model here. They were ready to go out for the weekend and I was the last one of the day. So I got gypped in some areas, but you know what? It's okay. Um, part of the journey was to help my heart and I get to go see my doctor who was the one who recommended me doing keto in the first place. Two and a half years, or two, a little over two years ago when I first started out on my keto journey. So. Um, I am excited to go see her. Um, I have to get a echocardiogram first and then the following or next week I go for the follow-up to get the results. So I won't have the results this week, but I will hopefully have them by next week. Um, and we'll see what is up. You know, how did keto help my heart? Um, I know um, I haven't been able to physically see her because of the virtual doctor appointments during the pandemic. So I'm actually going into the office again. So she has not seen me this weight um the last time i saw her i was 300 pounds so it's exciting i mean she saw me on virtual in a virtual appointment and was like wow but it's still it shows up so much better in person <laughs> in my opinion so anyways i will keep you up to date once i know more about my uh my year annual cardiologist appointment so um and then i guess the next thing let's talk about the may monthly challenge I hope you guys really got the message I was trying to send out last month with the April monthly challenge, the whatever it takes. And that was basically ignoring everything else and doing what works best for you to get you to your goals. And if that meant dirty keto, clean keto, low carb, high carb, Weight Watchers, whatever it is, whatever you can make 
a lifestyle, that's whatever it takes. So, and that means everybody else's opinion of how you do your journey, you ignore it all, you tune that all out, and you get it done. So I took my own advice, and I did a high protein, low carb uh, diet last month. Or, you know, that was what my macros were, and I don't wanna call that a diet, but. <laughs> but anyways, I had a high protein focus last month, low carb. I was not keto last month, and I think overall I was down five or six pounds for the month. So I ended up also eating more because I was gradually adding 30 to 50 calories a week to my macro goals to get myself from around 11, 1200 ish to this week we are in the 1700s. So basically I gradually increased how much I was eating and I'm losing weight. I wasn't losing at 1100, 1200 calories because my body literally was like, I have nothing else to cut at your activity levels. I can't. Um, so I slowed my metabolism down by not eating enough. Um, and that was just because I was listening to so much pressure out there, like to lose weight every week. And I, I just, it made new problems. So when I would eat, I would binge. And that was something that I, you know, even when I was 309 pounds, I wasn't a binge eater. I mean, there would be random days, but like I was starting to make myself concerned with being a binge eater, with the way I was eating. So instead of cutting, 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 and I was like, you know what? I've got to eat more because I can't stop myself when I'm starving. Like my body's like, eat, <laughs> you know? Don't turn it, don't turn it off. So I, and I took my own advice. I tuned it all out. I gave myself a little bit more carb, way higher protein, and a little less fat, so like a moderate fat. Um, and I was slowly adding more calories every week and it got me to where I am. So then once that started going, my metabolism has picked up again and I'm eating more and losing weight. So yes, but that gave me the insight to make this challenge for you for the month of May. So my, my, the monthly challenge for the month of May is track your macros and don't, 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 don't say no, 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 don't start with that. Please hear me out. Please hear me out. I can't stress how important it is to know what you're eating. Perception and reality never line up. <laughs> you always think, well, I didn't have that much food today, or that, I, that was a serving, or that was enough, or that goes both ways. You can literally not eat enough and you can eat too much. It is both entirely possible and you can't know if you're eating the right amount for your body if you don't track. And let me tell you this, like the goal for you, for my goal for you would be to track your macros the whole month, but I get it, it's a lot of work, it's something new to a lot of people, it sucks, <laughs> but if you can just do it a day, maybe a week, maybe just during the week and not the weekends, or maybe only track on the weekends and give yourself a break during the week, find something that works for you, but track the macros. I'm gonna teach you how to do it, Carb Manager has updated since the last time I've taught you guys how to track your macros, so I've made a new video. At the end of this video, I will show you how to track your macros. And then probably in the next video tomorrow, maybe this evening, I, um, I will show you, literally, I will log my food for the, you know, at least during the week and show you how to do it. So this, this whole month is gonna be a teaching process. Summer's on the way here in Texas, so we can use the grill more. Um, it'll be fun. So I've got some, lots of good ideas and also because I was low carb last month and I was not keto, this month we are doing keto. And we are going to, just to keep things fresh, that's one of the things in my journey that I really love to do. I like to switch it up. It does, it gets kind of boring and mundane when you're doing the same thing all the time. So I did low carb last month. I did high protein last month. So this month we're gonna do high protein keto. So, and that's just because, hey, why not? I love keto. <laughs> I have nothing against keto. I just had a break last month and had a little bit more carbs to get me through the binge eating and readjust those macros. So we're going back to basics and we're doing keto for this month. And let me tell you this, um, I, because I, was, I wasn't feeling inspired last month to make lots of videos, like I've just been in a creative rut. 
I feel more energetic to make more content this month, specifically macro and food related. It's a missed opportunity. It's honestly how I figured out I wasn't eating enough because I was cutting so much that the last thing that I thought of was like, oh my gosh, maybe I'm not eating enough. But I wouldn't have known even where to start had I not tracked and, you know, owned it and figured it out. And, it, you know, so, so when you were tracking your macros, you were going to learn what's in your food and how quickly stuff adds up or how not quickly and what foods add up really slowly. And one thing you learn with tracking macros is you will see the volume of food you can have in certain food groups and how little you can have in other groups. For instance, you can have a mountain of a kale salad and barely eat enough carbs to knock you out of, cro out of ketosis. You know, like you would need like so much salad it would it would be hilarious um, to try to kick yourself out of ketosis eating kale <laughs> but you could eat you could knock yourself right out of ketosis having a uh you know a, a keto treat you know like and it's so easy to do so when you learn how to own your food plan for food it makes the journey have more uh more substance because you can you can see based off of what you've had in a day it's so it's kind of like when you track your macros it's kind of like playing tetris it's like okay so i've had 50 grams of protein i've had blah blah blah, blah and i so i'm short on protein so i need to have a, i need to find something that is 20 grams of protein and that'll be you know what i need for today you know like but it's kind of like a little game with yourself like well, okay now what what things have protein in it that can you know fit into my macros without throwing everything else off. For instance, you can get protein from beans, but beans also have carbs. It's not the same type of carb as like a processed carb or a refined carb. Um, it's a, you know, it's an easier carb for your body. It's a single ingredient. Um, but if you had, you know, if you were already, you know, your carb slot was full for the day, if you throw beans in there, it's gonna give you over in carbs even if you hit your, your protein. So it's like playing a little bit of a game and figuring out what foods to have in those circumstances. And that's what I'm gonna teach you this month. And I'm gonna teach you how to fill in those blanks, how to not go over, how to stay under your macros, you know, and how to hit them perfect. So. I am giving you lots of teaching this month. So, and plus it helps me. I'm gonna get, keep my ball rolling. So anyways, I'm gonna hop off and show you how to track your macros using Carb Manager. Alrighty folks, let's talk about Carb Manager and tracking those macros. Now, for the past month of April, this was what my macros were set to. So I had 1,751 calories. Um, I was gradually adding like 30 to 50 calories a week since February to get here so that I would increase my uh, metabolism, <laughs> if you will, because I was getting way too low and I just really wanted to make sure I was eating appropriately for the activity level. So um, basically, this is Carb Manager. You don't have to use Carb Manager. You could use like my Fitness Pal or something like that, but I personally would recommend you downloading a bunch of macro calculators and find one that makes sense to you. Um, I'm gonna, for this video, I'm gonna use Carb Manager and also because Carb Manager has a huge update since the last time I've made a Track Your Macros video. Um, so anyway, so my goals were different last month. I was on a high protein, low carb. So here is what my macros looked like. Um, and my, my fat and uh, carbs were basically split down the middle and protein was, you know, what I was after. So, um, which was, I think the setting was like 30, 40, 40. Um, but on this side, as you eat, the bullseye increases so that you know um, what you're eating in the day. So with, you know, the goal by the end of the day is have this bullseye completely like lit up, but not over. So... <laughs> Um, anyway, so as you eat food throughout the day, you will log it in each of these categories. So, but let's get started on um, basically just coming up with how to get to this point. So I'm assuming that you already have your account set up. This is like right after you've set up your account, this is what you're going to do. So you're going to hit the getting started wizard and it's going to ask you really quick how to walk through your goals. My goal is to lose weight. So we're going to select that one. I am now 206. 
update your weight. Uh, my goal weight's 179. I am female. I am five feet, eight inches tall. And all of that matters and definitely your age too. All of that matters because your activity level based off of age and hormones and all of that science behind it, that matters. So answer that correctly. Um, and at this point, this is also super important. Um, this basically will factor in your, you know, if you exercise, you burn calories. So it's going to basically factor that in based off of your activity level. So if you are a much more active person, you need a lot more fuel, right? So if you do not exercise, and this is purely weight loss, and you have a desk job, um, which is most likely most people here, keep it here. Um, or if you want to manually eat back in your calories, like say you work out three days a week and you know that you burn 300 calories each time, well, you can eat those ones manually on your own and leave it sedentary. Um, but just find a way that makes sense to you. But if unless you really are active, don't move this dial. Um, I work out three to five times a week pretty hard. Um, I am very busy. I walk five miles a day. You know, like I am, I am lightly active. I'm consistent. So I'm just going to go ahead and set mine to lightly active. Um, but please, please, please be very honest with this um, because that will greatly impact your macros. And you want to make sure you're eating enough. So if you are active, you definitely need to hit the right button. <laughs> so the next thing is your goals. Well, if you want to maintain, gain muscle, this is a 14% deficit right now for 1,967 calories a day. I like to keep it at 20. I've done 30 when I first started my journey back when I was morbidly obese. Um, but I would not recommend going 30, uh, a deficit of 35% now unless you have a significant amount of weight to lose and it just creates new problems. So I feel a comfortable, well-fed 20% um, deficit is all I need. So my daily calories are going to be 1,830. Um, so that gives you like a little bit of, you know, details. And then right now we're going to do high protein keto. And I have had a higher, I just want to have 40% protein. So you would just move your dial until that said 40%. So my goals will be, um, you know, like my, the rest of the macros are going to be split between the carbs and f fat. Um, and that pretty much sums up my, my day. So my main thing is I wanted to have 40% protein because I'm doing strength training and lots of activity. Um, and then the rest is going to be divided between fat and, uh, you know, 21 grams a day of fat, I mean, of carbs and 113 grams of fat. Um, you can toggle this if you want. Um, if you want to aim for like 30 net carbs, it will take away some of your fat. You know, just basically play with it and see what works best for you. But my main thing is I'm setting this to 40% and that pretty much is where I'm going to leave it at. So I'm going to go about 7% net carbs and 53% fat. And then once you've gotten that, hit continue. So at this point, we have the macros that we just set up. So that means for, for protein each day, I need 183 grams of protein. I need 108 grams of fat and 1,830 calories. And my carbs are going to be 32 grams um, per day, net carbs. Um, and then as I log everything throughout the day, like I know I'm going to have uh, my keto coffee. So I'm going to go ahead. It's under my foods. It's already set up. It's something I have like every day. So it's already in here. Um, I'm just going to search for it. <laughs> Keto Rewind Coffee. Oop, I can't even spell. So Keto Rewind Coffee. That consists of, um, one serving consists of one scoop of unflavored collagen and two tablespoons or 30 milliliters of heavy whipping cream. So I had one serving of that. I'm going to go ahead and log that in here just to show you. Um, what that does to the log. So I always file that under snack. I do this every day whether I'm on, you know, the only thing I changed last month was I used half and half instead of heavy cream. Um, that was because of my, my goals at the time. So being keto, we're using heavy cream this month. So anyways, you can see it was mostly uh, fat because of the cream and the protein came from the collagen. So as you can see, the bullseye starting to fill up. There were no carbs in it, um, just protein and fat. So that is going to fill up. So as the day goes by and I keep logging in food, this fills up. 
um, and it gives you a little insight with the pie chart, you know, how much is left. And if you want to change this to protein or you want to change it to net carbs, um, it will track or put your goals more, uh, more apparent, I should say. <laughs> um, but I'm, I don't, I'm going to track, uh, protein because I, I still, it doesn't matter what I do. Protein is what matters to me. <laughs> Um, so anyways, um, that is how you're going to track your macros. I entered in a sample meal, um, but as I continue this week, I will show you how I'm logging in each uh, meal and how I create recipes and all that using the new carb manager. So anyways, that's how you track your macros and calculate your macros. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope, I hope you will track your macros this month. Even if you do it a day, even if you did it just during the week, maybe it's just a week, just please learn how to track those macros. It will make so much sense. It will answer a lot of questions you have and it will show you what's in your food and that's eye-opening. So anyways, I will make part two next where I will film everything I'm eating today and show you how to add those macros in step by step for beginners. <laughs> Um, but, and we will get the weight loss going. So anyways, I will catch you at the next one. I'm Jess. You're watching Keto Rewind. Bye-bye. Don't forget to like this video.